All right, everybody, welcome back to the Offbeat Sports Podcast presented by Self. Today we're uh, joined by Deshaun Wade, senior guard for Longwood University Lancers basketball team. Uh, Longwood clinched the Big South Championship and secured their ticket to the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, man. Uh, we're uh, very excited to have you on. Man, I appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so first off, congrats on uh, making the tournament. Uh, How does it feel to be a part of Longwood history? Uh, that feels great, man, um, to be the first team that, uh, you know, won the tournament and, you know, gets an NCAA berth. It's just the real. It's like you never thought it would be you. Yeah, so uh, since uh, you transferred from East Carolina after your freshman year, um, you've made an immediate impact on the court for the Lancers, uh, especially this season, um, averaging 12 points per game. Uh, what do you think sparked this uh, jump, and uh, how has Longwood um, helped you expand your game? Um, well, when I first came from ECU, uh, I was just more like a, I guess, like a spot-up shooter. But I really, since coming along, I really worked on my ball handling. Uh, I worked on, you know, understanding defenses and defensive schemes. Um, I just want to work more on just getting the mid-range off and, you know, learning how to get to the free throw line. You know, little things like that have really helped me out a lot. Yeah, so uh, one of the biggest things in uh, college sports right now is the new uh, NIL uh, rules. So have you ever uh, been able to take advantage of this in any way yet? Um, No, uh, I could have had a Bo Jangles deal last year, but I decided not to take it. Um, but yeah. What do you uh, what do you think of all of it? Is you, do you like it? Like, is it? I think it's a pretty good idea. I mean, um, I feel like you know the the bigger, uh, more star of an athlete that you are, you know, what I'm saying the better it will be for you. Um, but even for you know little deals like like certain certain things, I don't know. Could it be like like I said, Bojangles offered me a deal. I don't know. It could be some as small as the business right across your street or, you know, the uh, insurance place right down the street from you or something like that. Like anything like that. Mm -hmm. I just feel like those are good ideas. You know, I just, just not decided not to take mine because, you know, my parents were just like, yeah, you probably don't want to do that right now. You probably want to wait a little bit. So I was like, okay, well, listen. I think it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, something that's been fought for for a while. Yeah. Like, I think it's, it's pretty cool, especially like, um, like some, some of those, like those, like big, like, like uh D one, like Duke guys, like they, they getting like big money for something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Those guys. Yeah. Those, like people like that, they can definitely benefit off of it. And I'm pretty sure it fills their pockets. So. Yeah. So speaking of like big schools like Duke, so like you guys are, are probably going to be an underdog team coming into this being like a mid-major school, but in the NCAA tournament is known for like the craziness and the upsets. So like, how are you guys like preparing for this big stage and like preparing to pull off one of these like crazy upsets that go down in history? Um. Well, first thing first, you know, we're not just really worried about who we play. You know, I mean, I know selection Sunday is tomorrow and, you know, we're going to have a a big uh, get together celebra celebration for that. But that's just more for like the fans. Um, this is not really for us. We're not worried about too much who we're playing. Um, I feel like if you have that type of mindset and you just, you know, just work on the stuff that you're capable of, like work on the stuff that you can control, like the stuff that has got us here the whole entire year. I feel like if we have that type of mindset, we'll be ready for to play against anybody. And we definitely want to be one of those teams that can, um, you know, be one of those Cinderella stories. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's honestly, I keep saying it like I love the NBA. Like I'm a big Celtics fan, but like March Madness, greatest sports event of the year. I love like it's. Always yeah. Wait, you're a Celtics fan, bro? I'm a huge Celtics fan. We, we're oh, I'm a Heat fan, fan, man. Heat fan? Oh, all right. Well, we'll catch up. To you. <laughs> we'll catch up to you. We're at fourth right now. We're making a nice little comeback. A rough start to the year. Yeah. I don't want to get it, get into that. We we kind of we try and forget about the first half of the year. <laughs> um, but for you as a senior, uh, you, like you must be starting to reflect on your college basketball career. So, what is one of your favorite memories from your career thus far? I mean, well, you know, definitely winning that, winning that, winning the tournament. You know, just soaking that moment in. But uh, I think one of the other besides that. Um, Playing in that CBI tournament last year was a good experience for me. Uh, after the season was over, we got an invitation to the CBI in Florida. And I just remember going down there, you know, having fun with my team and trying to take advantage of whatever opportunity we got in the game and stuff and our preparation and all that stuff. That was, that was a good moment for me. 
Um, so a uh, little, a uh, little different. Uh, what NBA player would you uh, compare your gamer style of play to? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm like that. I, I feel like I'm like that McCullum, uh, Gary Trent kind of, I guess if you, if you max it all the way out, Damian Lillard type of, type of player yeah, just with that a, bubble type of yeah just kind of like that shot making ability you know they can hit all sorts of shots they they're they're very unselfish players they can pass but you know when you have a shot making ability like that you know what I'm saying you probably just use that and they can defend um play both sides of the ball so yeah that's that's probably my that's what I would go with all right and uh last one for you uh who would you say helped you most in your basketball career to get you where you are today um, to really my dad, um, my dad has been coaching me ever since I was in third grade AAU all the way to eighth grade. And, you know, he's taught me literally just like everything I know, IQ, confidence, skills, just all this stuff. I've been training with him. You know, he's been my biggest supporter, my biggest fan. Um, he's always believed in me, even when I didn't even believe in myself. So that's, that's what I give most of my credit to. All right, and uh, that just about wraps up tonight's episode. So thank you to Deshaun Wade for taking the time to do this interview with us. Uh, we appreciate it, um, and um, good luck in the tournament. Hope to no have problem, man. Yeah, time. like I said, appreciate you for having me, man. It was a good experience. Yeah.